the size so you right click go to updating and go to uh, program update and this will update the program um, as you can see it's uh, it's downloading the packages and uh, it's basically just downloading the updates to the program even though we download it from the site there's always going to be updates because they have more updates than they, than they do they don't post as often as they post the updates so it looks like close uh, and then you uh, right click again this is on the A not on the I right click go to up updating and then go to IABS and that's going to be the actual device definitions themselves so that's uh, instead of download this quickly sometimes the gray screen doesn't come up right away sometimes it hesitates for a while and you're like well this doesn't work but uh, eventually it will work so just have some patience um, if it really doesn't seem like it's working you can right click and do it again but most of the time it uh, it's working so click OK. So that means we're up to date, which is great. Uh, but before we want to do anything else, we want to uh, go to register the whole thing. So we created that text file that has the code in there. And basically what we do is we copy that, click on it, hold it down, and then drag it over so we highlight it. Right click, copy. And then we're going to open up Avast. See the Avast right here? You can double click. That executes the program. It's going to say enter your license key. Right click paste and we paste it in there click OK okay it's been successful sometimes when you're doing this it'll pop up with okay found a virus found a virus found a virus and if and it's when it's doing the memory scan it found a virus that means it's kind of serious eventually it might say it'll keep on saying eventually it might come up saying we can't do this anymore because this is actually running and so we need to reboot into a boot time scan you click yes and then uh, and then you boot the computer reboot the computer and then it'll do a scan uh, but this computer is clean, so it's not going to say that. So uh, it's going to eventually go in. We're going to we're going to open go into the program. We're going to change the settings so that it'll automatically update both the program and the virus definitions. And then after that, we'll go and we'll set a boot, schedule a boot time scan. So, uh, but uh, viruses can really slow down your computer, and they can also make things flash they can make um make it so you can't click on anything they can really create havoc with your computer okay and if you don't want this window to pop up anymore this is just instructions if you don't want this to pop up anymore click on don't show again and then you click on the x okay now we're going to go to the settings as you can see the current version of the database it says 216 which is today and uh the day of last scan of course it's not done yet because it's just brand new uh virus uh, recovery database, automatic updates database only. So we go to uh, go to settings. We click on this eject button. Looks like, kind of looks like a, this whole thing looks like a radio, a car radio. Click on the eject button, and then you click on uh, settings, and then we're going to click on update, and we're going to make sure this is auto update basic. Make sure it's automatic, and then programs are going to be automatic as well. Click OK. Then we're done with the settings, and then what we want to do is we just click on this go down to schedule boot time scan so this will scan the computer for viruses and uh, once we do this the computer will reboot and it'll <coughs> come excuse me it'll, it'll boot up and then it won't fully boot up it'll it'll come to a blue screen and then it'll just automatically start scanning your computer for viruses you'll see it'll be blue screen with white text and it'll just start scanning and it, there'll be a possible of two questions that it'll ask you uh, the first question only two questions it might not ask might not ask any um, and if that's the case, you don't have any viruses. And if it just asks one, that's fine. If it asks both, that's fine too. If it asks both, that means that's it's more serious because the second question uh, is asking is saying that this is in the system folder, which isn't a good thing. So, okay, the first question you're going to get is, what do you want to do with this virus? Uh, this is when this is after reboot. We have the blue screen. It starts scanning. If you get, you'll get a question that you might get a question that pops up. What do you want to do with this? And you'll have a bunch of choices, and you'll have a number associated with each choice. The choice you want to choose is number six. Just hit your six key on your keyboard, the number six on your keyboard, and it'll be associated with the action uh, move all to chest, which means it's the same thing as a quarantine. It just isolates this the file. So you'll hit six, which is yes to all. I mean, move all to chest, which means. All of all the viruses move the chest. You don't have to keep on keep, keep on clicking for each virus. The second thing you might ask is, it'll say, "This is in the system folder. Are you sure you want to move the chest?" And you click number two for yes to all. So the first question, you you click your your six key on your keyboard, and the second question, if there is one, uh, you click on the number two for yes to all. Okay. So to schedule a boot time scan, 
we just click on this eject button, go to which brings up uh, this whole drop down menu. Go to schedule boot time scan, click on scan all local disks, click schedule, I mean, just leave that alone, click schedule, and then you click yes. Once you click yes, then it's going to do its thing, and it's going to do the scan. And if your computer does have viruses, then you will notice a uh, dramatic increase in performance, speed, uh, the way your browsers handle. So, uh, so hopefully this will help you. So again, this is how to, uh, I'm going to click no because I don't want to do it because I know it's clean. Okay, and that's it. And that's how to scan your computer for viruses uh, to speed up your computer. And this is using a vast home edition. And remember, if you like the video, go ahead and click on subscribe to support the site. And also, don't forget to rate the video. Even if it's a three or four, it still helps.